I'm impressed. I mean, most people can't even uh, look at food during a hangover, much less prepare it. <laughs> well, cooking it was easy. Eating it's another story. Uh-huh. Mm. I guess it's explanation time. Last night, I was trying to forget. Uh, you remember the night I stood you up at Duke's? Yeah, to uh, attend a memorial service for a friend, right? Yeah. Uh, Julian was more than a friend. That's what I figured. At least he used to be. Uh, we hadn't seen each other in, in quite a few years. It's funny how somebody can disappear out of your life for a while. And you don't think about them every day. But when you find out they're really gone, it's like a hole opens up inside you and you swear you'll never fill it. Yeah, well, I guess we all carry a few of those around. Julian and I met when we were very young, and it was your basic love at first sight. Uh -huh. I always assumed that we'd get married, but that didn't happen. Do I need to know why? Let's just say circumstances came between us, and we went our separate ways. But I never forgot him. He was special. He was the love of my life. And I um, didn't realize till now that he's still very much a part of me. It's going to take a long time to get over it. Mm. You know exactly what I'm talking about, don't you? You've lost someone, too? Um, Tiffany probably mentioned it. No. She didn't have to. I can see it in your eyes. Guess it takes one to know one. Um, my wife, Holly, unexpectedly died about a year ago. I'm sorry. Yeah, I guess I'm, uh, I'm still trying to come to terms with it. I'm making life miserable for Anna and Robin, and... Well, you know, I... I guess I can't help it. They're, they're the only family that I've got. Anna accuses me of being... I'm overprotective. Are you? Probably. But... The life of me, I just... I cannot help myself. They're really all I've got left, and... I mean, if anything were to happen to them... So, to that end, I'll do anything that I have to. And I mean anything. To look after them. Nobody is going to mess with my family again. Yeah, thanks for the update, guy. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, I should be, uh, I should be down there shortly. Yeah, thanks. You have to go so soon? I felt like we were just getting started. You haven't gotten rid of me quite that easy. <laughs> Good. Thanks for listening and understanding. Hey, it's my pleasure. I'm sorry if I brought up sad memories for you. It was just really great to talk to someone who knew what I was going through. It's okay. I believe stuff like that's good for the spirit. Besides, proves that we have at least something in common. You know, you're even better than Tiffany said you were. Yeah, Tip... Tiffany. Oh, that reminds me. What? Uh, well, yeah, uh, your sister had, um, uh, something... Uh, to do with my uh, asking you out. <laughs> I thought but, but, so. But, 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 but don't look at it that way. I mean, let's face it, sooner or later I would have gotten around to it myself. I mean, you are a very attractive woman and I'm very available. <laughs> well, remind me to send my sister a thank you note. Uh, I wouldn't bother. I don't think she had your best intentions at heart. <laughs> uh... Well, if she had, it would, would have been the first time. At any rate, I should have mentioned this earlier. Oh, don't apologize. Hmm? I don't care why we got together. I'm just glad oh. we did. Oh, so am I. Matter of fact, I was thinking maybe we could organize a rematch. I'd love to. Only next time, I promise I'll go easy on the champagne. And don't bother. Next time, I'm not going to be quite so much gentleman. Oh, okay. Hmm. 
sign of your earring, Mrs. Labor, but I'll keep looking. I'm sorry to put you to so much trouble. Uh, no trouble at all. I'll tell Angie you lost it, and I'm sure the earring will turn up. Thank you. They're my favorite pair. <laughs> well, we'll give you a call when we find them. I appreciate that. Okay. Uh, was there anything else? No, I'm just resting. Okay. I have a feeling you'd be waiting for me. Waiting for you? Yeah, I didn't know you cared. I don't. But you're here, aren't you? Yes, I'm here. Looking for an earring, here. Hmm? Is it on purpose? No. You know, it's an amazing coincidence. Don't flatter yourself. I am not here checking up on you. Did I say you were? You are the most egotistical man I have ever had the misfortune to meet. Do you know that? Husband, now you're here? What difference does that make? Mm, doesn't, does he? He does know I'm here. I'm here looking for an earring. Mm, easier found than a missing husband. Hmm? <laughs> that was a misunderstanding, Robert. Mm. So, I take it that uh, you two kissed and made up, huh? We talked. Yeah. He explained everything. Uh -huh, everything? What do you mean? Well, just, just the certain mysteries surrounding the acquisition of a particular club in New York. We didn't talk about that. I thought not. Because I did not. What a coincidence. Because I trust him. Yeah. Which is a quality, I might add, sorely lacking in my ex-husband. Maybe he has a reason. Well, maybe Duke is a master criminal, but I don't believe that either. You see, because I trust my husband, I believe him. Why don't you? Um, you want to have dinner tonight with me and Robert? Hmm? Well... It's an excellent idea. Yeah. yeah. But uh, I might have plans. Oh, well, when will you know? As soon as I make a call, if I can use your line. Please be my guest. Uh, private call. Private. Silly me, I. <laughs> I'll just be outside. Have a coffee. I'll have a coffee. I've just been thinking to myself, what a great start to the day. I mean, <sighs> breakfast, view of the harbor. That was the best cure for a hangover I ever had. Well, half a cure anyway. First I thought I was going to die, and then I was afraid I wasn't going to die. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. All right. The final cure, as I see it, should be dinner tonight. You know, here are the dog, as I say, without quite so much dog. Well, I was going to say dinner sounds great, but um, no champagne. <laughs> That's a good idea. Look, I'm, I'm here at Anna's office. I don't want to tie up the phone, so why don't we talk about the wear of dinner when I get over there? Great. I'm easy to please. Good. We'll talk about that, too. Eight? Eight. I'll see you then. Sugar Plum. I want to thank you for the invite tonight, but as it turns out, the plans that I thought I had, I, I now have. Yeah. Anyway, um, give Robin a big kiss for me. Tell her I'll pick her up after school tomorrow for a nice big ice cream to ruin her supper. I will do. Judging by the floor show last night, I presume your plans are with Miss Cheryl Stansby, right? I wasn't aware I was putting in any more of a floor show than you or your husband. Oh! oh do I detect a little sniff of snide in the way you say that? Hmm? Yes, yes. Hmm? Not at all. Just because she was sticking to you like a wet T-shirt. She was very tired and the champagne had gone to her head. Any objections? No. I just don't want you entering into any kind of an affair with that woman and getting hurt. Look, I know exactly what I'm entering into. I find her very beautiful and charming and sexy and 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 witty. I'm glad to hear that somebody has their emotional life on track. 